Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to estimate a uh, uh, ARDL model using quantile regression. And in this case, we will be following a two-step ECM method. So please follow with me. And if you wanted to understand what is two-step two step or one-step ECM, follow the link shared above. Otherwise, uh, in this video, it will be self-explanatory to distinguish what is a two-step ECM to create a, a quantile ARDL model and in, in our example I will be using a time series data but you still can use this uh, method for panel data only difference is that in the panel data you just have to add a cross-sectional dummy in the short run to make it a fixed effect uh, ARDL so that it will become a more robust version. So in this video we will try to estimate a quantile ARDL for a time series model. So in this file I have already saved our estimation equation. Here is a dependent variable and independent variable. So I already have written this equation and, and estimated that quantile using this quantile regression method and using the quantile at 0.5 when we estimate this model it will give us estimation results these are this is the simple regression and uh, there is no specification used in this model first of all what you have to do is that you have to store its residuals and it, you can use it by proc make residual series and save it as ECM so I have already have saved it so I will not press ok here so when you close it you will see a ECM variable created and you will see that how they are made it's from the long run equation because when I estimated the long run model I named it as long run so that the long run results are stored here otherwise it will be erased so now uh, ECM is here in order to create an ECM model error correction model or an ARDL model this ECM variable should be stationary so first of all we'll go here view and unit to test and augmented DK fuller at level and it comes out to be significant so since the uh, null hypothesis that the uh, that variable has a unit root so it does not have so it is uh, stationary which means the long run equation that we estimated are co-integrated but and, and it can be a long run model so we need to we need to confirm it using the long short run estimation and we need to make sure that there is convergence for that what i will do is copy this variable specification open a new regression object from here new object estimation equation and come here and then select portrait and then paste the specification that i showed earlier okay then um, in the short run i have already done it so what you have to do is when you paste it you have to do is that all the variables should be now in first difference form so i add d and bracket open close with each variable and then ecm with minus one so this will be the convergence coefficient and others will be short run i will tell you later what are these then you estimate the coefficient then you have to notice if the uh, uh, model is not stable enough for example uh, this first difference coefficient is significant then you have to add another lag how you will add lag you will open a, a, a estimate and d bracket open renewable energy bracket open minus one bracket close bracket close this way you will add those lags which are uh, which were significant at level you add lags here you can see that ecm coefficient is negative and it is significant which means that there is convergence in the model it means this model is short run and the, that one is long run now you have to do them some diagnostics from here view you can go in stability test check the ram series set and here it is insignificant which means that the specification is correct then in reg regression diagnostics you can do the normality it is not not normal but we are, we are already using the uh, median base so it's not necessary then we can go here and do the the uh, squared residual test for hyperscedasticity since most of them are insignificant then there is no hyperscedasticity then we can go towards the regular Q statistic 
and here majority of them are significant which means that there is hint of autocorrelation and, and which can be removed by adding more lags. Now since the model is estimated, what is an advantage of uh, quantile regression? We will go back in long run equation and then we will view a quantile process, quantile coefficients and then we say it's graph and 10 quantiles. You can see that uh, since the sample is small it is not running here. If you have a larger sample you can do it. So what I will do is I will say graph and only show me five quantiles so it will create a 20 40 60 80 90 percentiles now you can see there so you can see the change in the coefficients because of change in the quantiles so it will it tell you the process of uh, the model so this table can be very useful in explaining how the marginal effects are changing in the long run because of changing the distribution position of the data especially dependent variable then in the short run, I only wanted to see the, the distribution of ECM. So I will count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9th coefficient. So I will go in view, coefficients, I will say graph and use the specified C9. And then I will only say 5 percentiles and then it will show me that the ECM value is um, mostly stable across uh, the coefficient and it is only significant in the middle uh, or at the start otherwise it is insignificant so it's showing that the convergence coefficient is also sensitive to distribution this way you can estimate um, quantile ECM or quantile ADL model in EVUs thank you very much for watching do subscribe